Hi, Mum. Hi, Ramesh. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's lovely to see you. Why didn't you tidy up your room? It's such a mess at the back. This isn't my room. Then whose room is this? This is just like a room where we dump all our crap. But you could put it neatly. It is neat. It's not neat. Look at that. It's a turquoise bag is sticking out. Yeah. I told you, try and keep your room tidy. That's very rude. This isn't my room, Mum. Doesn't matter. Your house is yours. Yeah. Make sure everything is tidy. Mum, can we stop pretending that you're tidy? I am tidy. No, you're not. I am. You're no more tidy than I am. I am tidy. Sometimes I do make a mess, but I prefer to be tidy. Me too. Uh, do you think this is untidy? It is untidy. doesn't look nice at all at the back. You have to make it look presentable. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I mean, I, it's difficult to comment on how tidy your place is because your backdrop is your staircase. Because, I assume, your other rooms are untidy. My rooms are not untidy. It's fine. Perfectly okay. Would you describe yourself as tidy? I would, yes. Would you describe me as tidy? You have improved a lot. But I remember the story that when your room is always, the clothes are everywhere. And uh, one day I remember you wanted to invite your girlfriend. And uh, uh, then you shoved everything under the bed. And when I walked in, it looked so tidy. Then you opened the cupboard, everything fell on you. Remember that? I don't remember having a girlfriend. You did have a girlfriend. You didn't want me to have a girlfriend until I finished university, do you remember? That's true, that's true. Because then you will go into these little, little naughty things. They distract your ability of studying and memorizing things. Yeah, you can't, so, do, you can't do algebra with a hard one. Mention what it is. But if you have experienced that, it will something happens to your brain and you won't concentrate on studies. Are you saying that if you start having sex, you're not able to do maths anymore? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> you ruin your brain, though. What do you mean it ruins your brain? The first time experience, you'll be thinking about it all the time. My God, that was good. I'll do it again. So you will miss doing the homework and the studies. So sex has to come after studies, not before that. That's my, me, that's me. Okay. That's you, I know, yeah. You always have sex after finishing studying, I know. Yeah. I never had, oh, I don't want to talk about it, Rami. You started talking about it. You can't have a girlfriend without having sex, you know. That's difficult. There will be kissing, you'll be touching, and that's lead to something else. Yeah. You know that, I don't have to tell you. You were a lot more lenient on Dinesh than me, weren't you? I wasn't lenient on Dinesh. What made you say that? Well, Dinesh had a lot more girlfriends. Well, actually, it's not because of you being lenient. Just Dinesh is better with girls than I am. You were good with girls. No. Yeah. No. You are? No. You are? No. Okay. Don't keep on going. No. It sounds like that you have no other topic to talk about. Pick a topic then. What would you like to talk about? To spend more time with you. Do some cooking with you. You disappointed me. You asked me to buy all the vegetables. It's got rotten and you never turned up. Mum, can, can I just talk you through what just happened? What just happened is he said, I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about something nice. And I said, okay, what do you want to talk about? And then you went, what about the time when you said you were going to cook with me and then I waited for you, you didn't turn up and all the vegetables went rotten. That's happened once. That's why I'm mentioning you. But that's not a nice thing to Mum, last time I came around, we cooked together, didn't we? Yeah, we did, we did, we did. I danced, I danced and yeah. yes, it was good fun. We should do it more often. Well, you said you were going to send me the recipes and you didn't. Didn't I? No. I put it in my journal and I'll give you the... Yeah, but I don't have your journal, Mum. So this, this journal has got recipes and a list of your enemies. And my secret powder. Yeah. I'll give you that recipe as well. What's your favourite food, Mum? My favourite food is crab curry. That's your favourite thing in the world? Crab curry, yeah. The gravy is so tasty as well. Do you prefer that to mutton curry? Yes, I do. Do you prefer that to aubergine curry? Yes. Do you prefer that to cabbage? Cabbage I love. Do you prefer it to dal? I prefer crab curry to dal, yes. 
Do you prefer it to potato curry? No, now just stop it. Now stop it. You keep on doing it. Do you prefer it to dosa? Dosa, I love dosa. I can live on that. I can live on dosa. You prefer that to crab curry, do you? Yes, I do. I do. I do. So that's your favourite? That's my favourite, yeah. If somebody said to you, you can only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Dosa. So the next time somebody asks you what your favourite food is, you say? Dosa. <laughs>